Okay. So you're already at the top of your game by the time you're 18. Right. So then you finish high school, and at 19, the Summer Olympics are around the corner, the 1992 Summer Olympics, and you actually make it on the team for the U.S. Well, I had to, I had to switch sports. During that time, I went from powerlifting to Olympic weightlifting, which is completely different. It's a more athletic and a more technical sport. Uh, a lot of technique and keeping the, the bar close to the body to be really explosive and fast. And you have to be flexible to get into positions to catch it. And uh, it took me nine months of training for this brand new sport that I had never did before um, to qualify for the national team uh, get invited to live at the Olympic training facility. And then 11 months later, uh, I was the, I came in 10th place in the Olympic games after nine, okay. after less than a year being in the sport. Were you upset that you went to the Olympics and didn't get a medal? Not at all. Because I knew right away from my coaches and trainers that I wasn't going to win. They was like, it's good to have hope. It's good to work like you want to be champion. And that's what it's going to take for you to, to get there. He said, but you, you compete against people that cheat. And we knew they cheated. And uh, Eastern Bloc countries, you know, they, they really promoted the guys to, to do drugs. You know, I had guys tell me, look, man, stop complaining about the drugs you're going to bring heat on us and they're going to kick the sport out of the Olympics. I was like, you fucking stop taking steroids. And, and, and it was a, a back and forth for a while. And then eventually, you know, I, I just got tired of it. And after the 96 Olympic Games, when I, I was not even in my prime yet, then I stepped away and uh, started pro wrestling. Okay. And I guess at the 96 Olympics, you ran into Michael Jordan. Yep, got to got to meet the great Michael Jordan. Right, didn't go too well though. Not not at first, and 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 the story the, the way the story goes is is Michael asked who who are you, because I didn't fit in. You know, I was in an environment where it was all basketball players, and he was like, "Who is this big guy?" And I understand that, but my mother used to say, "Be careful what you say, but even be be more careful of how you say it." And the way that he said it to me was very disrespectful, I thought. And I checked him about it. And he apologized. Hell, he, he invited me to his birthday party at the All-Star Game. And I went to his birthday party and, you know, said happy birthday and thanks for the invite and had a good time and took my ass home. <laughs> gotcha. That would have been interesting. A Mark Henry, Michael Jordan fist fight at the Olympics. It, it wouldn't have been have interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that that would not that have been made international news. <laughs> oh, it it would have made it would have made world news, but it wouldn't yep. have been it wouldn't have looked good for me.